What's up, Weld.com? Welcome back to the channel. Now, if you've been around for a minute, you know that you need a good rest when it comes to TIG welding, right? You need precise torch control. Now, there's lots of companies out there that make a quality armrest, and, well, essentially I could buy one, and it could be here in a couple days, but what's the fun in that? Our three quarter inch piece of solid rod here. Got about a sixteenth play. Nothing wrong with that because we're gonna tighten this up with a jam nut anyway. So we switched our machine over to DC. Um, I have upgraded to a number 12 uh, Furet Krupp and 332nd Tungsten. I've got sharpened to a point. Get something to lay this on so it will so it will hold at an angle for me. Now I got set up how I want to, I can come around this other side and finish the weld out. Well, so here's our, uh, here's our bolt that we've sharpened to somewhat of a point. I didn't want it to be super sharp. Um, I more or less want a little chisel point. Uh, because like our threads of our nut is going to be right there real close to it. So um, I'm just going to lay this right here Next to our bar that's not even symmetrical. So um, I'm not worried about too much But um, I think that'll work out just fine you Go ahead arc up Get it tacked make sure it's the uh, the shape that we like we'll go ahead and weld it I am jumping up to 90 amps on this one because I want this bolt to get hot enough and get molten enough quickly, quickly. Well, with a little help from a magnet and an offset piece, we're, uh, we're close to the center of our pipe. I did a little cope with our uh, flap disc there. Uh, now this is thin wall and this is oh, almost 3 16 thick, a little over an eight, but um, we're going to turn our amps down quite a bit, but the magnet will hold it in place. We're going to tack it across here and then uh, I'll get my, my support bracket and we're going to put that at a 45 right there to take some of the stress off that joint. Well, I'm afraid um, I deleted the file that I showed welding my pole. Now, to set this weld up, I got my, uh, I got my 45 degree pieces here and I put one up on top, okay? And then I put another one down here um, to get a couple different angles on that. And we didn't do too bad. It's, it's not perfect. Um, this way, this way back and forth is, is damn good. This way here, there's uh, 32nd or so, maybe maybe a heavy 32nd. Not worried about that. Um, and the majority of that is just welding here and then having that standing straight up. I could put a little more heat on it, pull it over this way, but I don't care. Um, our other parts are cool to the touch now, and I just love TIG welding, man. That's, that's awesome, right? To be able to just look at something and say, yep, that's what it needs, and then just go ahead and build it with your hands, right? So that's cool. See what our welds look like there. Nice, pretty, 
dimes laid all the way around there um, come off our come off our heat a little too much. I might take a file and and file that little tit down, but yeah, nice clean threads. Everything looks pretty, and I'll I'll probably be able to put quite a bit of torque on that. So our uh, our arm here didn't do too bad. Now this thin wall stuff, shoo she was hard to weld. Pretty, pretty thin stuff. Um, I was still had my machine set up like 85 amps. Um, and, well, let's just say I had 100% penetration on uh, a lot of pieces. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it'll be all right. Now, where we had a little bit thicker material, um, those beads look pretty good. But, all in all, we kept our tube the same, you know, shape. And after our nut has cooled down a little bit, we can see that we've been all around there, and that looks pretty good. I tell you what, let's uh, take a little bit of penetrating lube here and just fill the threads. That's all I want to do. Um, and hopefully, hopefully, hey, we're started. I love it. I love it. Let's see. Yep. We have a we have an aggressive chisel point coming down through. Um, we didn't disform anything. Um, looks looks really clean in there. So oh, okay, I like it. Um, man, that gets solid quick. Okay, using that big bolt, that was definitely the way to go. Something that is solid, right? Um, hey, that's... I, I was kind of worried about the thin wall. How strong was, would it be, right? And I don't know what we got here. It's probably 22, 24 inches maybe. Um, it's solid enough, okay? I can definitely put some weight on that. And... Being able to spin around and, and rise up and down is it's pretty awesome. Now, one thing that I thought about doing at the beginning of the video, um, but I wanted to keep this simple today, um, was making a bracket in here, all right? More or less like this, okay? Um, and then having a coped angle with a wing nut on it. That way I could change my angles. Um, I don't know how important that is right now. Of course, it would definitely be the ultimate in adjustability, but I don't really think I need that right now. This, this is going to be, this is gonna be pretty awesome. Um, I don't, uh, I don't know where my tape measure went to. Let's see, I've got seven inches there. Six and a half so inches off the table. Pretty damn, pretty damn good. And I don't know what we ended up with all the way up there, but probably, probably 26, 28 maybe. So anything that I can see standing up, I can raise this all the way up to, you know, above my line of sight. Hey, we built a useful tool today and that makes me very, very happy. Boys and girls, don't forget to uh, subscribe and ring the bell and I'll see y'all on the next one. It's the, it's the tiny things in life. I'm so excited. This is awesome. Like, I have support arm now. I can, I can get to what I need to weld. And I, I'm going to tell you, there's going to be a lot of days where I'm sitting right here with this, just like this. Just, just welding small stuff.